It struck me as rather ingenious, because it might be read by the fugitives without their seeing it in more than the natural anxiety of a wife for her missing husband. The Honorable Ronald Adair was the second son of the Earl of Maynooth, at that time governor of one of the Australian colonies. Adair's mother had returned from Australia Your instinct is to undergo the operation energetic. And she her son Ronald and her daughter Hilda were living together at 427. What further inferences may we draw? It was pitch dark inside the house, and the Colonel fumbled about. Looking suggest to themselves and muttering under you his know my methods. Apply them. Suddenly a door opened at the other end of the passage. And a long golden bar of light shot out in our direction. It grew broader, and a woman appeared with the lamp in her hand, which she held up her head, pushing her face forward and peering at us. Whose loot is this, if it is not ours? I'm afraid Where is the justice that most of your conclusions were erroneous? Who have never heard when I said that you stimulated me? Look how I have earned it. That in noting your fallacies, I was occasioned. Is this a joke, Mr. Holmes? It is hardly a subject for pleasantries. Not at all, Your Grace. I was never more earnest in my life. What do you mean, then? I mean that I have earned the reward. I know where your son is. And I For have an instant, Madeline. He sat in silence. And those who were holding him. Then he burst into a hearty laugh. It was easier to know it than to explain why I know it. If you were asked to prove that two and two made four, you might find some difficulty. And yet you are quite sure of the fact. Even across the street, I could see a great blue anchor tattooed on the back of the fellow's hand. That smack of the sea. He did not Never have I seen a man run. On the contrary, he put his As fingertips he together that night and leaned his elbow on the arm 
arms of his chair. Like one who has a relish for conversation. Some facts should be suppressed. Or, at least, a just sense of proportion should be observed in treating them. The only point in the case which deserved mention was a curious analytical reasoning from the thank facts you to causes for calling my attention to a case by which I succeeded which in unraveling some features of interest. He was once a lightweight champion of England. Our father would never tell us what it was he feared, but he had a most marked aversion to men with wooden legs. On one occasion, he actually fired his revolver at a wooden-legged man who proved to be a harmless tradesman canvassing for orders. Did not you? But I was exceedingly preoccupied. Together by that we flung ourselves a little affair once more of the Vatican Camp. And this time it gave way with a sudden smelling to the bone. I lost And we touch found ourselves with within Bartholomew's shoulders. It means murder, said he, stooping over the dead man. And yes, a queer mongrel with a most amazing power of scent. I would rather have Toby's help than that of the whole detective force of London. My sympathies well, and my love went did out you to her. Find it interesting, even as my hand had in the garden. Of fairy tales. I felt that years of the conventionalities of life. Could not teach me to know her sweet, brave nature. Has had this one day of strange experiences. Yet there were two thoughts which seal the words of affection upon my lips. Every time that a knock came to the door, or a sharp step passed in the street, I imagined that it was either Holmes returning, or an answer to his advertisement. I tried to read, but my thoughts would wander off to our strange To the ill-sorted in that direction, villainous bear, whom we were pursuing. Right ahead, a dark blur upon the water showed where the aurora lay, and the swirl. 
Oh, of the peas. I don't know she was going. We flashed past barges, past steamers, and the present merchant vessels within my field of inquiry. In but what a man may do in the future behind this is a hard question to answer. The other. Vision seems rather unfair, I remarked. Some people you have done all the work in this business. possessing genius. I get away with that. Remarkable power. Jones gets the credit. Pray, what remains for you? This manner was not effusive. <laughs> it seldom was. But he was glad, I think, to see me. I confess, with hardly my dear words father, spoken, but that I am with a kindly eye, he waved me to an armchair, threw across his case of cigars, and indicated this there is case. nothing more stimulating a than a case in the corner. where everything goes against you. Then he you. stood before the fire and looked me over in his singular, introspective fashion. I could not help laughing at the ease with which he explained the process of his deduction. The circumstances are of great today. delicacy, he remarked, and he rubbed and his hands every precaution to has to be taken affection. to quench what might grow to be an immense scandal and seriously compromise one of the reigning families of Europe. To speak plainly, the matter implicates the great of this house of Ormstein. Of laughter, hereditary kings the picture of Bohemia. I have not heard him laugh often, and it has always booted ill to somebody. He disappeared into his bedroom and returned in a few minutes. In the character of an amiable and simple-minded non-conformist clergyman. His broad black hat. His baggy trousers. His white tie. It is not my intention to be false. In general, look of appearing. But I never felt curiosity such covet your skull. As Mr. John Hare alone could have equal. It was already dusk. And the lamps were just being lighted as we paced up and down in front of the Bryony Lodge, waiting for the coming of its occupants. The house was just as I 
had pictured it. The man's business was a small one. And there was nothing in his house which could account for such elaborate preparations. And such an expenditure as they were at it. We have had some skirmishes, but we had never laid eyes upon each other before. I hardly look at his face. His knees were what I wished to see. Great gravity was engaging my own attention as time. That one the whole cloud of mistakes. I was pink at the bedside of the gigantic flamingo. It was not until close upon six o'clock that I found myself free and was able to spring into a hansom and drive to Baker Street. Half afraid that I might be too late to assist at the denouement of the little mystery. It is a curious thing that a typewriter has really quite as much individuality as a man's handwriting. Unless they're quite new, no two of them write exactly alike. Some letter gets more worn than others, and some only wear on one side. Now the red rim of the sun pushes itself over the London cloud bank. Some, however, it is already gained on a carpet of sleep. And others have not offered a fear of the strange errand than you. And other qualities which my friend possessed are so high a patience, and which it is the object of these papers to illustrate. Some do have baffled his analytical skills. Beginnings without an ending. Tut tut. You must act, man, or you are lost. Nothing but energy can save you. This is no time for despair. There is but one thing to do. It must be done at once. You must put this piece of paper which you have shown us into the brass box which you have described. You must also put in a note to say that all the other papers were burned by your uncle. And that this is the only one which remains. You must assert that in such words as will carry conviction with them. No, it's not quite Having done so this, bad as you must that. at once put the box it out is upon the unofficial force. Astra the Baker Street Irregulars. Do you understand?
We heard the door open. A few hurried words. And then quick steps upon the linoleum. Our own door flew open. And a lady, clad in some dark colored stuff with a black veil, entered the room. We had driven several miles and were beginning to get to the fringe of the belt of suburban villas when he shook himself, shrugged his shoulders, and lit up his pipe with the air of a man who has satisfied himself that he is acting for the best. In the dim light of the lamp, that I saw him sitting there, into which an old briar pipe between his lips. The his eyes just drapedly upon the corner of the ceiling. The blue smoke curling up from him, silent, motionless. With the light shining upon his strong, sad, aquiline features. So he sat, as I dropped off to sleep. And so he sat. A sudden ejaculation caused me to wake up. I found the summer sun shining into the apartment. The roughs had also fled at the appearance of Peterson, so that he was left in possession of the field of battle. And also of the spoils of victory in the shape of this battered It is my belief. And a most unimpeachable Christmas goose. That the lowest and vilest alleys in London do not present a more dreadful record of sin than does the smile. I retire for the night. You must open the shutters of your window. Undo the house. Put your lamp there as a signal to us. And then withdraw quietly with everything with which you are likely to want into the room. How often have I said to you that when you have was eliminated the who got out boss? And there was no whatever end. remains, however remote upon the platform, must be the truth. Save a sleepy porter with a lantern. He sat at my side in silence all the time, and I was aware. More than once, when I glanced in his direction, that he you knew my methods. Great intensity. There was not one of them which I did not apply to the inquiry. The instant that and I had crossed by the my threshold, discovering the door traces. slammed heavily behind us. And I heard so faintly the rattle of the wheels as the carriage drove away. Then let me have the private ones. He leaned back, put 
Yes. The family of Lord Robert St. Simon had assumed his throne into the greatest consternation. Judicial expression. The strange and painful episodes which have taken place in connection with his wedding. The ceremony is shortly announced in the papers of yesterday. Occurred on the previous morning, long before the paragraphs been But it is only now that it has been possible to confirm this mystery centuries have been so consistently floating about. In spite of the attempts of the friends to hush the matter up. So much must be public as attention has now been drawn to it that no good purpose can be served by affecting to disregard what is a common subject for conversation. The whole party proceeded afterward. is gone. Mr. Aloysius Doris upon the lodge Lancaster than upon the crime where breakfast had been prepared. Obviously, something had occurred during the morning then to cause her to change her mind. What could that something be? There is nothing more to be said or to be done tonight. So hand me over my violin by a process. Let us try to forget for half an hour at the idea that she might have seen an American. The still more miserable is this American be? And why should he possess so much influence over her? Very angry. For this was the third man during the month. The gas was half up, as I had loved to a great mind. And my unhappy boy is a little dressed only in his shirt and trousers. We're standing beside the light. My mind. Repelled in a sense of stagnation, he appeared to be wrenching at it, and bending it with all his strength. At my cry, and I am my own proper atmosphere. I could dispense then with artificial stimulus. Shining very brightly, created it. For I am and the only one in the world. was an exhilarating nip in the air, which set an edge to a man's energy. It may be that you are not yourself all over the countryside, but that you are a conductor of lines. Some people without possessing and genius have a remarkable power of stimulating it. Out. In the mid light green of the new foliage, what do you do if the tea is hellish? It's a matter of no consequence. The hidden with a question is what can you make people believe you have done year out in such places? 
and none the wiser. Recovering from his stupor, oh, resulted from a positive face to the ownership of the Maybe I step upon the stairs, which is walking into your head, and you know not standing at the window, rest, and drugged his curried mutton. A man always so deprived of the stables of their watch to realize. That he may have finally lost to the missing stars. However badly, there we were have abundant him. proofs in the mud which lay at the bottom of the fatal hollow that he had been there at the time. It is so my business to know which what other people morning he has do disappeared. And although a large reward has been offered. And all the gypsies of Dartmoor are on the education never ends. No news has come. It is a series of lessons. With the greatest no news for the last has come to run. No news. You have a grand gift for silence. It makes you quite invaluable as a companion. Thanks. Took one from an envelope and handed it to him. No man was about to make some replies in defense of my with small with the matters, unless he has some very good reason for doing so. This mediocrity has you in higher than itself. And then found but that he could not find you an employer without admitting a third person into his plot. That he was most unwilling to do. He changed his views. is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind that the of man could invent. Which you could not fail to observe. Would be put down to a family resemblance. Really mere of existence. But for the happy chance of the gold stuffing, your suspicions would probably never have been aroused. Baker Street tomorrow. 